Oh, this is a great ball. Mario! He's the best in the business. What's the crack, lads? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to just have a quick discussion about the skill trainers that they introduced in V2.5. I want to know your feedback. I want to actually know what you think about the skill trainers, the addition of them, how they work, adding potentially five you know, new additional skills to some of the top, top players in the game. Obviously, we're just showing you here by signing a really cheap player that we're going to cherry pick who we give the player skill that this guy unlocks uh, with too. So I think it's going to be Vinicius Jr. that we actually get a Rabona skill with, which could be handy. But we've also boosted up Neymar and Romario, which I'll show you in this video as well. You saw Romario scoring an absolute banger at the start of the video. So look, what do you think of it, lads? I think my opinion of it is I've spent a bit of time with it now. I do like the concept of it. I just think it needs to be fine-tuned a little bit, just a little bit for eFootball24 or for future updates because, you know, nobody wants to be running into Patrick Vieira with blocker and one-touch pass and double-touch. You know what I mean? Um, and there's going to be versions of him like that there. You can see the Romario that I have towards the end of this video. I've given him five additional skills, um, four that are kind of shooting skills, which... He is probably the best finisher and best striker in the game, I would say, uh, that I have used. And I think a lot of people would agree with that. Obviously, some would prefer a toe or somebody would prefer Romanegi uh, or a Bappe up front. But I genuinely do think that uh, he is the main man for me, Romario, right? But, you know, when we're actually looking at our players here and we're taking a look such as the likes of Neymar, I've given additional skills to Neymar as well as having, you know, double touch and everything that you possibly could have. We'll have a look at him in a second. Um, you know, for Vinicius Jr., we were just checking there, did uh, Neymar have Rabona? And he did have it. But Vinicius does not have Rabona as a player skill. So we're going to give it to him. It's going to cost us 250,000 GP um, with this method. I already have a video up on the channel for that. If you've missed it, it's very easy. Just follow what I did in the video here. But yeah, we're just going to legacy transfer uh, this guy, Rachel, from Friends, uh, Lombardi, for 250,000, it's going to cost us to get the skill added to Vinicius, right? But what are your thoughts on it, like in terms of balancing the gameplay, right? To me, I think that they definitely need to look at it because obviously if you've got a player like Vinicius and you're going to be adding five new skills to his card, similarly to what I've done with Romario, or as I said before with Neymar here, you can see with Neymar when we're skill training him, he's got one touch pass and true passing. So I've kind of turned my Neymar in from a left-sided winger or a left-sided midfielder into an attacking midfielder now because he's got one-touch passing, true passing, right? And I will try add, as I unlock more skill trainers, because I've got a lot of GP, I will try add more to max out his card because he's one of my main players that I use. He's always on B rating. The likes of Haaland, I mean, we could throw one-touch pass on Haaland. We could throw a couple of other stats or skills onto Haaland there to turn him into a monster as well. And as I already mentioned, Romario, who you saw at the start of the video, and you'll see a clip at the end of the video, he scores when he wants, man. And this guy has got five skills added, right? Now, if we have another skill trainer there, you can overwrite that. So I probably would overwrite long, tray, long throw. Um, but I just said I'd give it to him just to kind of mix things up if I wanted to do a long throw into the likes of Haaland or Collar or somebody like that. You know, it's kind of a unique skill to give your center forward, especially that Romario small. He's not going to be winning a lot of aerial battles, right? But, you know, when you look at Vieira, you could potentially add one touch pass, double touch and blocker to Vieira, which would be scary. I mean, Vieira is practically... One of the best players I think that they've ever released, the original veterans bonus Vieira at the very start of eFootball um, when they started Dream Team. And I do think that that is something that they probably need to... Yeah, I mean, look, you're going to have a mixture of players that have got like excellent stats. And sometimes, you know, that can unba unbalance things. Now, if you're looking for more skilled trainers, lads, you don't forget to play the tour event, uh, the J-League tour event. There's, I think, a maximum of three uh, skill trainers up for grabs and of course you'll still have the seven from logging in as well but yeah look it's definitely a discussion i want to know your feedback i want to know your thoughts um and we will try and get some of that feedback back we will also discuss it on the thursday stream as well because i do like the concept of it look anything that adds a bit of kind of depth to the mode for me 
is going to be huge, right? And is going to be something that I kind of applaud. Um, but I can see that, you know, certain people are complaining that all the players now are going to feel similar, that you could potentially, you know, in a couple of months' time when skill trainers become more and more available, you could potentially run into a starting 11 against your opponent where every single player in his team has got blocker, interception, one-touch pass, and of course, um, you know, any other skill that they deem that they want him to have. And I would say that blocker and one-touch pass are probably two of the most overpowered uh, skills at the moment. Um, you know, and then for strikers, you could have first-time shot on every single one of your strikers and your wingers and your AMF. So yeah, it, it, it look, I like it, but I do think they need to fine-tune it. But I want to know what G-Lads think and what your thoughts are, and uh, we can put them all together. Because it is an important feature, I think, that they will look to develop even more, especially when they start, you know, letting us buy or letting us purchase skill trainers outright. Uh, I know a few people were a little bit disappointed that it is random, um, but you know, you can control it a little bit way uh, better than we thought. So yeah, enjoy this goal, lads, and I'll talk to you in a bit. And let me know your thoughts. Mario, what a goal! What a finish from Mario, lads. That's why I'm telling you he's the best in the business.